Hello friends and welcome to my Caribbean kitchen. My name is Ria. If your wish for 2021 is good luck and health, I've got you covered. Today we're making a very healthy and delicious Caribbean style stewed black eyed peas along with a seven minute pan seared salmon topped with a five minute stewed tomatoes. We'll be using these very simple ingredients to create this satisfying combination. So if you're interested in luck and health, let's start cooking. First we'll measure our black eyed peas, pick off any bad ones and then we'll rinse, drain and place it in a medium pot with 10 cups of water. I still have that ham bone from our holiday ham in the last video so I'm going to add that to the pot as well. You may use smoked turkey or eliminate if you want to keep it vegan or vegetarian. Once it comes to a boil, lower the heat and we'll cook it and I'll let you know how long it takes. While the beans are boiling, now is a good time to finish up our prep. Hang in there friends, we're almost done. This took 15 minutes to come to a boil. It's been cooking for about 23 minutes. So now we will skim off the scum at the top using a skimmer. Or you can use a spoon or a strainer and we'll continue to boil it until it's tender. Needs about 15 or 20 minutes more. The black eyed peas have been boiling for about 40 minutes and it's pretty soft. So now we'll stew it to make stewed black eyed peas. It's nice and tender now which means that it will not require too much cooking in the stewing process. When you press it, there should be no graininess. And we'll remove this bone. It has given us all the flavor. And now we'll stew. Medium heat. We'll measure out four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now we'll add two teaspoons of brown sugar to Vinado Demerara or raw brown sugar. We'll allow it to froth, bubble, expand and darken to start the stewing process. It usually takes about a minute or two. Doing this will not only add color, it will add a depth of flavor to the stew. We'll allow it to expand a little more and darken. And this is what you call browning. We don't want to allow it to burn. If it burns, we'll have to start all over. 
Now we'll add the chopped ingredients, reserving half of the chopped scallions for later on. We'll add a quarter cup of green seasoning and a quarter cup of ketchup. Now we'll give it a good stir. We'll raise the heat to medium. We want all these flavors to melt. This is what's usually considered the marriage ceremony. All the flavors are joining together. And this will be the base flavor for the black eyed peas. So we want to really take our time here and do it right. Extract the most flavor. I'll also add a heaping tablespoon of thyme leaves. Make sure there's no thick, woody, small stems that can pose a choking hazard, especially if you have kids. So we'll add this to the pot and cook it for 15 minutes, stirring every couple of minutes. I'll also start with two teaspoons of salt, pink salt. We'll add more if we need later. And I'll also add one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. At any time, if it's sticking, add a half cup of water. And remember the heat is on very low at this point. The aromatics have been cooking for about 15 minutes. The timer is about to go off any second now. Now we'll add the cooked black eye peas. Reserving the sauce, we we'll add it in later on because it has all the nutrients in it. And that's the timer. 15 minutes of cooking. Give it a gentle stir. And if you wanted your carrots chunky, you can certainly have cut it up bigger in bigger chunks. But teens will be eating this, and chunky carrots are not appetizing to teens in my house. We're not making a soup. I'll cook this for about three minutes. I'm raising the heat to medium, and then I'll add the liquid back into the pot. The black eyed peas are nice and tender. They've surrendered nicely to the heat of the boiling and they won't require too much cooking, maybe 10 to 15 minutes more because it's soft. If your black eyed peas are not soft at this point, you'll have to cook it a little longer. We'll now taste and add more salt if required. And we'll allow the liquid to thicken and all the flavors to melt with the black eyed peas. I have used all the liquid from the pot. I'm gonna top it off with the remaining chopped scallions. About one teaspoon more salt will work for me. I'll taste it again later on. Mm -hmm. Really delicious already will be even more delicious as it cooks down and the flavors are concentrated. And the secret ingredient to bring it all together is a little bit of brown sugar. It will balance the acidity from the tomatoes and all the other ingredients. You can add a tablespoon. I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons. To bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat to a gentle simmer. And then you start counting your 15 minutes.
thyme and garlic are really excellent for your immune system and thyme especially is good for your respiratory system which is even more important uh, in these COVID times. So I use a lot of thyme and garlic in the winter and you could say even in the summer too, all year long. And look at it here my friends, it's coming towards the end of cooking. As you can see the sauce or the gravy is thickening nicely. Just a couple more minutes, about four more minutes. It's beautiful. It's colorful. We're eating all our colors today. It's highly nutritious. It's going to bring you lots of luck in the new year. And most importantly, it's so tasty. You're really, really, really gonna love this. Eat this all year long for the best of health and wealth. I hope you enjoy this one. You can have it with rice or roti or eat it as a soup with a side of stewed chicken or curry chicken, curry goat. Keep it vegan, keep it vegetarian or have it with a piece of salmon like we're going to make now. Let me give it a taste for salt. Mmm, so, so, so good. I could even dip some garlic bread in here. It's really fantastic. And we're mashing to bring it in quicker. Thicken the sauce quicker, but you don't want it too thick at this point, because as I always say, it thickens as it cools. And that's it, it's done. We'll add two tablespoons of oil to a very hot pot. We've rinsed the salmon, we've scaled it, and now I'll season it generously with salt. It's a very simple recipe, but you do need an adequate amount of salt. And we got this salmon at BJ's. We'll dry the side as well. And we'll put it skin side down in the pot. The salt in the skin will, will allow it to crisp up. We'll also put a sprinkle of black pepper, always freshly ground black pepper. And now we'll place it in the pot. Next we'll pan fry until it's crisp at the bottom. Now we'll flip. We're only cooking it for a couple of minutes. This does not take too long. We do not want to dry out the salmon. This is a quick weekday meal that my kids absolutely love. And we press it all the time. It's been cooking for only about seven minutes. Total on both sides. It looks done to me. This is perfect for me now. I'll remove it from the pot. As you can see, the bottom is crisp. And now we'll go back to the pot to cook the tomatoes to top this with. You want to hear the crunch? Oops. There goes my presentation. My hair's a crunch. Mmm. So delicious. So simple. Absolutely fantastic. Mmm. Really, really good. 
Now we'll add the chopped tomatoes I had in the freezer. Save from the abundance of the tomatoes we had in the garden over the summer. And that's about two pounds of tomatoes. You don't need that much. You only need about a pound, but because it's all frozen together, we'll make it all at the same time and I'll store it in a jar, the extras in a jar in the refrigerator. So now I'll add the olive oil. about four tablespoons and the sliced garlic and thyme and it's still a little frozen but all will be well in a couple of minutes just want to sweat it down a little nothing a little jab couldn't help Raise the heat to high. It's taking on the flavors of the fish from the pot, the oils. Raising the heat to high. Going to add some salt. And cook it for a couple of minutes. Less than five minutes. Seven minutes for the salmon and about three or four minutes for the tomatoes and you're done. Easy peasy. And that's it, you don't want it too liquidy. It's a nice chunky topping for base for your salmon.